Welcome to the nightly press conference. Give it up for these athletes. This evening, we're going to be joined by Will Murad, Alexis Raptis, Adrian Bosman, Director of Competition, Justin Berg, GM of Sports, Jeff Adler, and Tia Claire Toomey. I'll now turn it over to Justin Berg for some opening remarks. Yeah, great Friday of competition. Uh, we had three events, Capital, which I hope all of you guys were able to see in person, which was magical. Um, great times on that too. So the winners were 33-34 uh, for Gabriel um, and 31-54 for Ricky Garrard. Uh, up and over was our North Park event for today. Uh, winning time was 11.58 by Tia. and 12.40 by Saxon Panchik. And then the concluding event, a round of applause. Yeah. And then the uh, concluding event for tonight in the Coliseum, which was electric, uh, the Echo Press Workout, where we've got our event winners, Alexis with 6.41. And by 11 seconds or better, Will Morad at 6.30. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's me. So, over the course of the day, if you guys are playing along at home, you saw this big rangy event that had no time cap, we saw an event that had a pretty generous time cap, and we had a time pressure event where people are racing to beat the test. So that's kind of the theme of the day, I think it's kind of fun to get the athletes tired in the morning, see how they can recover, and then ask them to be athletes, get over that stuff, show us that you got it, and they did. So really, really happy with the day that played out. And um, hats off to everybody for showing why they are here in Madison. Thank you, athletes, for that. And how about that capital? It's great. Roman Krenikov came up to me, and uh, I don't speak Russian very well, and his English is better than my Russian, we'll say. And uh, shook my hand, he just looked me dead in the eye, and he said, hard. So yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So that's all I got. So real quick, we'll just go down opening remarks from our event champions. Tia? Uh, yeah, it was a great day. Um, and thank you so much for cheering us on. And uh, it's, it's really nice actually being out on the floor. It just gives you a little bit more energy. And um, it means a lot to all of us athletes. So thank you. Um, I'm just having so much fun being a rookie this year. Um, the crowd is electric, and I'm just trying to take in every single moment and just enjoy it all, so thank you guys. It's awesome. Yeah, just to ditto what they both just said, even during a capital, a long, a long event, the crowd was amazing, and then to finish it off in the Coliseum is always special with you guys, so thank you. Uh, yeah, today was fun. I, I enjoyed the capital. Uh, actually, it was hard, as uh, Roman said, but it's those events that I feel like uh, are special and feel like the CrossFit Games. And it was fun to run through the city and have the fans lined up everywhere, everybody cheering, cheering us on. I know I, I, some people cheered me on and I didn't hear, I'm sorry, but uh, I think we were pretty uh, brain dead once we, get, we got to the jerry cans. But yeah, it was pretty, th that was a very fun event. I hope all the athletes liked it. Uh, Boz, the programming so far is fun. I find very fun, so it's a, it's a good weekend. It's a good, uh, it's a good start. Cool. We'll now open it for questions. Please state your name and your organization. Uh, PC, Morning Chalk Up. This is for Boz and uh, JB, the capital. Was it your idea to make an iconic moment like that? I mean, CrossFit's always filled with iconic moments, but that was probably something, I mean, personally, something I've, I've never witnessed. And um, was that what you're visualizing when you were designing that particular event? It was better than I expected. I've been losing, losing sleep over that one for weeks. And uh, last night I did not sleep very well because there's a lot that can go wrong with an event that covers that much distance and it was better than I thought it would be. So I don't think you can plan something that major and hope that it's not gonna be iconic. Uh, so yes, absolutely, we were hoping that that would be a real keystone of this weekend. And I'm glad that it came off that way. 
And again, congratulations to these athletes. That was no joke. That stair climb at the end was, um, it was a punch. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah, uh, ditto what Boss said. This was one of the anchor events that he felt really strongly about, and the whole team wanted to support him to make this vision come to life. Uh, I think it shows the strength and professionalism of our team, um, and that's not just uh, Boz and the head judges around him uh, and our senior leadership team, but the entire uh, volunteer base, our security teams that opened up, basically parted the seas through Madison, uh, the cooperation that we've had with the city, even allowing us to use their state capital for an iconic event that's going to go down in the record books for CrossFit and for their city, who's been a wonderful kind of host for us. Um, but even every seat in the TV trucks, the volunteers, everybody, they knew what we were trying to do, do something awesome that honors these athletes, gives them a tough test and lets the fans get close to it so they can witness how incredible these athletes really are. Um, and I thought for me, the, the magic moment was being in the truck uh, with the director who's a CrossFitter and we're supposed to be off the air and you had to arm wrestle him to get out of that chair because he knew that we had a finisher and she wasn't done yet. And we were going to hang on that moment and make sure that, you know, in our community, we celebrate the first, but the last place sometimes get the loudest cheers also. And so we captured that moment. I think we did a good job, and I think it's a testament to this one team. Thanks, Catch your uh, Clydesdale Media boss. Another day of de devastation and humility. Thank you for that. Um, Question about some of the new elements that we saw. So you, can you talk to us a little bit about your thought process around that wall-facing handstand push-up and with the teams, the tandem rower? Oh, the tandem rower. I almost forgot about that. That was fun. <laughs> um, I mean, it's teamwork. You want to punish the team for not being able to work as a team. And so if you think about a boat and you have multiple people rowing and one person just stops rowing, what happens? Well, those other people still rowing have a lot more work to do, and, and that's simulated on those sliders a little bit. You're out of sync. Whoever's starting that stroke is taking the weight of the boat, so teamwork pays off. Um, I was really impressed with the teams on that event. That was definitely one where I thought it was going to be them against the test. I didn't know how many finishers there would be, and I expected and accepted that it was going to be few. So I was excited to see so many of them get across that finish line. That was really cool. What was the other one? Wall facing hands. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, that <laughs> the backstory, I'll ramble a little bit, was uh, a long, long time ago, I had an uh, uh, instructor uh, named Xiao Hong who used to do those type of handstand push ups on stadium stairs. He would cartwheel up, he'd do them freestanding chest to the stair and back up. And in my mind, that was always kind of like the ideal handstand push up. That just so strong, so skillful. I thought, how could we replicate that? So we got pretty close. Scott Schweitzer, Clydesdale Media. Jeff, we have been checking in with you all season. Um, you had a great off season, but you still had critics saying that you couldn't be a top 10 athlete. You won the Atlas Games, you're here at the CrossFit Games doing exactly what you've done all off season. How does it feel to prove everybody wrong? Uh, I haven't proven it yet. The weekend is not over, so we'll see when, when we get to Sunday. Don't you love Haiti? Uh, Chase Ingram, CrossFit Games podcast. The end of the Capitol, you guys touched on it a little bit, but there's been a lot of top moments and memorable moments for the 16 years of the CrossFit Games. The moment with Rebecca Fusilier and the decision to bring the crowd in. For you guys, how did that decision come to be and what did that moment mean to you guys seeing that take place? It was totally organic. I was moving to do that and I got a note that from, I think, Max Schneider, one of our event leads, who said, hey, Justin thinks it would be a good idea to, and I was already on the way and there was a third party that also was like hey it would be a good so it was very organic we all had that thought um and the, i mean the crowd was so into it so yeah thank you we've got a couple of online questions um we're going to start with will uh, Will, you beat your next closest competitor on Echo Pass today by almost 30 seconds. Uh, walk us through your strategy for that event, and especially the end when you looked like you were about to dismantle that Echo bike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, honestly, not a lot of thought. I was 
pretty confident going in that I could go through all those handstand push-up sets unbroken um, and just not being overexcited on the way I attacked the bike. On that note, yeah, I did kind of send it at the end, but you almost make up time there on the 30. You got nothing left. We do echo bike repeats every day. It feels like All sometimes <laughs> proven fitness, right? So. Uh, it was a good reminder that all the training that I've been doing all year worked. Um, so I just went in there and did what I do every day and got the event win. Alexis, you also won uh, Echo Press. Can you, uh, can you give us your thoughts on your approach to that event and, and how you thought your performance came together? Um, I love strict handstand push-ups, so I was super excited when it got announced. I've never actually done a handstand push-up like that, but in the warm-up it felt good, so my plan was to try and go unbroken, and um, just, I didn't even use my arms on some of the bikes, I just tried to relax as much as I could, and then I really didn't know where I was at, so I just sold out on the last bike, um, so yeah. Catch here, Clydesdale Media, Atia. Um, reflecting back on today's events, do you think you would have strategized a little bit differently had you had to do all three events on Tuesday as originally planned with a rest day yesterday? I got my days mixed up, but. No, not really. Um, I think, you know, every workout, I come into it just thinking it's that workout for the day and um, giving it my absolute best. Um, obviously, I was in a bit of a hole on Wednesday um, with making some costly mistakes. So um, nothing really changed. And, you know, I still have two more days of competition. Um, and, you know, it's just super important to stay in the zone, stay focused, and just attack one work at a time. Um, and just not get caught up in what's happened in the past and what's about to happen in the future. Uh, questions for Will, right here. Um, about a year ago, uh, your wife was diagnosed with cancer, and um, I'm sure after you finished that event, you were looking in the crowd and looking for her. Can you describe that moment? Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to share that moment that's so special with the people that are closest to you. So I, this is the first time I think I've seen you in the Coliseum at any of the games. And then my mom and her mom and her sister are here too. So that was, yeah, really special. Yeah. Two, two more questions. Uh, this is to the whole panel. Um, it's been a long time since the Coliseum has sounded like that coming off of COVID and all of the struggles, and this being like your first year in these positions, God, that felt amazing in there. I just wanted to get your impressions on that. Yeah, um, honestly, yeah, the crowd's been crazy this year. It's been awesome. I think, you know, um, having a lot of rookies um, in the, on the leaderboard has been really exciting, um, you know, having some exceptional veterans um, and just being able to be immersed in the community obviously that's what we thrive on in this sport um, it, it's super special and yeah just keep crushing it guys because it's it's really helping the athletes and it just makes the experience that much sweeter yeah. last question This is intended for Boz or, or JB, but for the athletes, if you'd like to weigh in today, or on this, um, where does this capital event fall in the iconic moments of the history of the CrossFit Games? I'm gonna hard pass at the athletes first. <laughs> I think it was a really special event. I mean, when you're coming up to the Capitol, these masses of crowds who are so amazing are screaming at you. Um, it was a really unique event, and one of the most unique events I've ever been a part of. So I thought it was cool. 
Yeah, it was pretty special. Um, I mean, last year was really special when we had the kayaking across the lake because we really got to see the full skyline of the city. Um, and then as we're running out uh, along the lake today and seeing this, the city in a different view, that was also very special. Um, but nothing can, <clears throat> sorry, nothing can really compare when you're picking up that sandbag and you're going up a bit of a slope um, and just everyone is just screaming at you. Like that was, it was like you're in the Coliseum again, but um, you know, everyone was even like right there. So that was real special. Uh, I, I feel, every competition that we do, there's always that one special event that's specific to that area. And I feel like the, the, the capital this morning was that event for the CrossFit Games and it will be remembered. Uh, for multiple reasons because the, the capital is just so special, but we were so close to people and usually those events that are special were away, nobody's with us, even sometimes our coaches aren't with us, and now everybody was there. Even when we finished, like, everybody was there, we could talk to people and, like, it, that was uh, very, very special and I think everyone will remember that for many, many years. Um, I mean, I I didn't know how I was going to get up those stairs. It was so hard. Um, but I had people on both sides just screaming at me and, like, encouraging me. Um, so I knew I, even when I felt like I couldn't do it, it was just I knew I was going to make it up there just because the energy helped so much. So thank you guys. Let's give it up one more time for these incredible athletes. And thank you everyone for coming. We will see you tomorrow.